do do right by your investment portfolio, right? So take time with it, right? Don't like because we we had some students in our in our camp, and I'm looking at their portfolios, and I'm like, damn, they do all right. Like they they really took some time and some effort, and you know, because the first thing I ask them is, why did you choose that company? You know what I mean? Like, yep. If, if, mm-hmm. Like don't don't tell me about you know you you. You can tell me about how much it, you know, how much money it makes and all that stuff. But if you don't believe in what they're doing and how they're moving forward and how they, the whole purpose of buying those companies is for them to make you money. It ain't Mm -hmm. like, that's a business transaction. Yeah. And so, you know, if the, one of the things you didn't buy that for is to make profit off of it, then I don't know what the hell you bought it for. You know what I mean? Here's like, the one that bothers me. Here's the one that bothers me. I bought it because such and such said I should buy it. Oh, Do your own homework. Don't buy oh. things just because someone said it, man. Um, and like you said, take your time with it. Understand that investing is investing and it's for the long term. It's not a get rich quick scheme. Stop looking for lottery tickets. Stop looking for the, the quick buck. You know what I'm Stop saying? Stop trying to get rich quick and, said, and get rich forever. Get rich forever. Exactly. If you take the time, listen, man. Like Omar said, two and a half years, fifty dollars, and he had seven k. Here's what's crazy. Here's what's crazy, right? So I study a lot of um what are considered the greatest investors and their philosophies, and a lot of them have this thing where you could take ten percent of your overall money that you're going to invest, and you can go play with that and do your do your like you know your derivatives, like your options or you know your riskier investments. But ninety percent of that stuff, you got to go stack over here to the stuff that you're building with long term. You know what I mean? So. I would say make sure you do your due diligence. Don't just be listening to stuff online because such and such posted about it on their IG story. So now you're going to go spend thousands of dollars buying this. Do your homework and learn how to do your homework. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. stop looking for that lottery ticket. And to the folks out there watching, man, we appreciate your support for everything we do, man. Everybody who loves my memes, man, because I got a lot of comments on my meme today. I, you know, my body, the meme game. <laughs> you did. That meme was, <laughs> yo, so that meme was mean and shit, yo. That shit was extra mean. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so shout out to y'all, man. Make sure you continue to support. Make sure you check out the Black Wealth Project. Sunday at 7 p.m., we come live uh, here on Facebook and YouTube, and we're joined by like four other professionals in the um, black finance space who are all legends in their own right. Um, and we have great conversations. So that that's like a definite, uh, you know, thing. Here's one right here. I got to put these last couple comments up because, man, he hit it nail on the head with this one. Um, mad money. You don't know how many people like. Yo, and if you, I want people to start tracking some of the stuff that's said on that show. It's a, it's, it's absolutely nuts, man. And um, <laughs> here's another comment from Jose real quick. Had I listened to my son about Tesla two years ago, they'd be up crazy. Talk about a missed opportunity. I, Yo, I man, listen to the kids, Tesla. man. I still want to buy the kids. Tesla. Because, of, because it, on paper, on paper, it doesn't look right to you. It's I actually trash. bought Tesla more than double my money, and I sold out because the, I, it didn't look right on paper, but. It's one of those companies, man. Dude, dude running, he's running a cult. That's not a company. It Christine, is. thank you guys for all you do. Love the talk. We appreciate it. Thank you for all the support. Make sure you share with your family and friends. Tell them to subscribe. But we appreciate it because everything we do is community first. It's not about money. It's about the community first. We like to build the community, have these conversations. Um, but again, check us out on Sunday. Um, check out our episode that we have coming up this upcoming Wednesday. We talked to a black brother out of Canada. Now, this oh, brother is yeah. out of Canada who's killing it in the real estate game. Um, he's buying gold and silver. He's in the stock market. He's, a, he's, he's doing it all. He's in the crypto space. And he's a young a young brother who's like 24. He owns like a yeah. four-unit building already. Like He's killing it, and he's coming out of Canada. Young black guy out of Canada, and he'll have him on a podcast. His name is Fred. He'll be on a podcast uh, this upcoming Wednesday. So <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm going to put this up real quick. Shout out because... Uh, Kamari is, is, is agreeing with you. Tesla is trash. Yeah, Listen, man, man, tell all the agreed. folks that made millions over the last. Tell the folks that made millions over the last couple weeks. Oh man, Christy says thank you, man. Um, and here's a here's a comment real quick. Last comment I'll show before we get out of here, man, is from Lafayette, and this is his opinion. Tesla is not a car company. Once you get over that, it's all good. Um, I'm Tesla to me is an interesting thing. Elon to me is just an interesting study himself because. He'll say something and it's like shifting the whole t- entire market in the stock market and in crypto. He made a joke about Dogecoin and the junk went up 14% just based on his joke. Elon yeah. Musk is running a cult, yo. He's running a cult. 
anytime you have somebody come out and say, "Yo, my company is overvalued," and and the, and the consumers push it up more. Don't. That shit doubled in two months after he said it. I mean, listen, man, what you going to do with that? Man, for the folks out there, listen, man, thank you for the support. Thank you for always checking out everything we do. Check out our podcast. We'll be back here next Friday, 7 to 8. Catch us on Sunday on the Black Wealth Podcast Show. But we'll catch y'all then, man. We appreciate y'all. Peace.